Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a randomized emitter to do things like <coughs> randomized voiceover effects, or randomized voiceover lines, randomized visual effects. Um, sorry if I sound a little congested and cough maybe. Uh, I've been kind of sick lately, so, but I'm just going to go over this real quick. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a blank timeline and that's because I just I want this to be separated um, I've already made like a version with no voiceover lines so I just want this to be separated so that I can add it to other visual effects um, as I work on uh, null more so yeah, so here's a blank timeline at the moment. Uh, I'm going to make a blank emitter as well. And I'm going to add it here. And just, I'll do minor one. I'll give it a duration of 240. I want to use a pretty, a decent length duration just to make sure everything plays. So that, you know, voiceover line doesn't get clipped. So what I've got is I've got several voiceover lines I've already chosen uh, for Nault. And so what I'm going to do is I've actually got six voiceover lines. So I'm going to add six emitters. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I'm going to just add my voiceover line here. Update, check the duration, 240, update, I like to just update a lot to make sure things are uh, working properly. did add one to that last one, right? Yes. So I've been kind of out of it because I've been sick all week. And now the last. Alright, so I've got my voiceover lines put onto emitters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this blank one I made. And I'm going to add them all here. So they're all added to this one, but what will happen if I hit play for this is they'll all kind of jumble together. Um, actually, I think they might actually just interrupt each other and only one will play. Because um, I'm pretty sure that's how... I think you can only have one voiceover line playing at a time. Um, so I need to reduce their probability. And that's right here, create probability setting. And the way this will work is the emitter will go down the list and it'll play this one and this one and this one. There's no delay, so it's going to just play them. And so I don't want it to play every single one of them. Um, I want a chance for them to play. So I'm going to reduce this to 10. So there's a 1 in 10 chance. It's not exact. It's just... I want a chance, not a guarantee. Except for the last one in the list. I want that to be 100. So that will play. 
now what I want to make sure happens is that only one plays. So right now there's a 10% there's you know there's there's a there's a slim chance that all of them will still play. And there's a good chance two will play at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here to parameters and I'm going to reduce its child limit to 1. So that guarantees only one of these will play. So now it should be ready, so spawn. Bitterest suffering awaits. The moment of judgment is come. I've removed other sound effects from this so that the voiceover line can be heard better. You shall bear witness to our might. So that's how you do a randomized voiceover line. I'll go and just play it so you can see what it currently looks like. No, oh, I forgot to change the binary. I have the wrong one selected too. There we go. I'm gonna come back to this. So, what I would do then to do a randomized visual effect is I'll actually show you with one of the other timelines. So here I have a timeline that has three emitters on it. And one of the emitters has a delay of 30. So if I wanted to do a randomized visual effect and I wanted to randomize this with something else, I need to put all of these emitters onto a single emitter. So I'm going to add them here. So there's emitter 1, 2, and 3. And because the timeline emitter 3 was delayed by 30, I'm going to come here and I'm going to delay this one by 30. So now what I have here is I have an emitter essentially acting as a timeline for these emitters. So I'm going to give that a, dura a pretty long duration as well. So I can come back here and I can clear that, that, and that. And I can put in the emitter I made. The flames of the abyss consume all. And so that plays like it normally would have. Um, so then what I would do is I would, and I, if I wanted to randomize this with something else, I would take this emitter and I would add it to another emitter. It's, it's, there, yeah, it's a lot of emitters for this. And so I would add it here, and I would give it maybe a 50% chance. To, and then I would do the same thing with another visual effects timeline. And I would add it here below it with maybe a 100% chance. And then I would limit this to one. So only one would play. I'd have a randomized chance for one of two visual effects to play then. Like I, that's how I did the visual effects for um, Sophia's stuff, Zervin's stuff, and all that. Um, but yeah, that's how you would do a randomized visual effects. And then you would also you could put the sound effects onto emitter 12 or emitter 1, 2, or 3, depending on what timing you want it. Or you can make another blank emitter, put a sound effect on it, and add it here, and make it whatever delay time you want. But, uh, yeah, that's how you can do randomized voiceover lines, randomized visual effects, randomized sound effects, stuff like that. Thanks for watching.